what is up guys it's Karen Eric here back with another video and today in this video I'm going to be explaining how to bypass almost all of Realm of the Married God private servers uh, protection and how to create almost all hacks for Realm of the Married God so we're going to be going over how to use Fiddler how to bypass file size check and how to fix web main breakage there should be timestamps either in the description or in this video somewhere we're going to talk about web main breakage first. So we're going to open up Minecraft Realms client. As you can see over here, the client is encrypted. So to unencrypt it, we're going to be using the tool called Swift ID. With Swift ID installed, you're going to want to click the Swift ID executable, and you're going to want to open up the client. Once you have it open, click process scan, and there should be a flash player here. If you don't see a flash player, check this box. Once the flash player is there and selected, click scan, and you should see Adobe Flex. That is the one that you want. So you're going to want to check that off and you're going to want to set the path to your desktop and dump. Once that's done, you can close all of that and you can delete your old Minecraft Realms Swift and here is your unencrypted client. Now with Minecraft Realms, if we were to open this up, it would be nothing more but a black screen. But that's because in Webmain, the parameter for Webmain is actually empty, as you can see. This is the web main function, empty. So what you're going to do is come down here until you see this public function with an encrypted key. You're going to come here, copy everything under code, go back to the empty web main, and paste it under code. And also delete the end trait. Now after you're done with that, you can save your client, reopen it, and it loads up. Alright, now that we have covered the web main breakage, I say we should go over the Fiddler part next. Now for Fiddler, we're going to be looking at the AR client. Nothing too special with the AR client. It's already unencrypted after downloading. So what you're going to need is Fiddler. You're going to open up Fiddler, and once you have Fiddler open for the first time, it should pop up with some prompts, and just click yes and accept on everything. Once you have that done, click on Tools, Options, come to HTTPS and click decrypt HTTPS traffic and click OK. Once you've done that, click on autoresponder and click add rule. Now what you're going to need is the private servers link and you're going to paste it onto the first line and then click the drop down blocks on the second line, find a file and then find the file you want to use which is the AR client. Open it, save, click clear cache two times and now open up regular flash player whilst loading the link. It may look normal, but if we change the logo, which is right here, to our beautiful friend VQ, and we load it up from the link, it loads up the Swift. Now that we're done with Fiddler and Web Main Breakage, the last one is File Size Check, which is probably one of the hardest ones to bypass. Shots Realm and Domain of Magicka actually have this, but Domain of Magicka is actually easier to bypass. Alright, now we're going to go over the File Size Check. For File Size Check, there's only two servers that I've known that has ever done it, which is Shots Realm and Domain of Magicka. But for Domain of Magicka, it's pretty easy to bypass. Shots Realm, it's a little bit harder. So we're going to open up the Domain of Magicka file, Control F, and to care list. Get care list task. Once you're here, scroll down until you see client size. You're going to come here, edit the P code, and delete everything under client size until new object 2. You're going to push int, and you're going to copy the client's file size, which is 3,209,420. Boom, boom. Delete the commas, and boom. Alright, we're going to open it, and it loads up. That concludes all of the security bypassing. Now let's go on to hacking. For the hacking portion, we're going to be looking at the AR client. We're going to start off with simple god mode. There's two ways you can do god mode, and one of them is more effective than the other. If we control F into object properties, and we come down until we see parentheses, player parentheses, 
and we just change player to anything else that will create god mode. Now the alternative way for this, which is the better way, what you're going to do is control F, game, server, concrete, control F again, player hit, and from here you're going to be taken to the P code automatically. You're going to scroll down and you're going to look for Q message. You're going to edit P code and you're going to delete the whole string right here, Q message. Save and that's god mode. Now for no ground damage. You're going to go into game server concrete again, control F, and search up ground damage. Same thing, you're going to be automatically put into the P code. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to click on Q message again, and delete the whole line. And now you take no lava damage. Next, we're going to go on the kill aura. There are two different types of kill aura, and one, again, is better than the other. We're going to go over the bad one first. So you're going to control F over here, and look up game object. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see hitbox radius. You can change this to 100.5, but what that will do is that will also make your hitbox bigger. So this god mode will only work if you have god mode. If you do not have god mode with that kill aura, the enemy shots will hit you from anywhere as well. Now the better kill aura, we're going to come back to our control F and we're going to go to projectile. We're going to click on projectile, and we're going to control F hitbox. Ignore case. Now on AR, they have a special type of way to call to check what the hitbox radius is to try to cancel out kill aura. But what you can do is copy these three lines, type push int 55555. Scroll down one more time push and 555. Five, five. Now for some servers it should look like this and by default these numbers will not be the hitbox radius it will be 0 0.5. If they are 0 0.5 you're going to want to change it to whatever number 0 0.5 and that is the best kill aura. Now we're going to move over to player. We're going to talk about changing player speed first. Changing player speed is right here with min move speed. We're going to click it, edit P code and right here I like to change mine to 112 0.0112 that's about 80 speed I'd say next we're gonna go to no cooldown and no MP cost first you're gonna control F in the action script type in MP cost edit P code and you can change MP cost to whatever although this does not usually work on most servers it does work on the shittiest servers next if you scroll down just a little bit you'll see cooldown as well you change that to anything and now you have no cooldown. This does actually work. Next, we're going to go over fire rate, number of projectiles, and arc gap. First, we're going to look up private function shoot. You should be automatically taken right here. Underneath this, you'll see attack period minus one, this attack frequency. You're going to click on this one, push bite right here, and change that to a negative. Now you have unlimited decks. This only works on some servers. If we scroll down just a little bit from our attack frequency, you'll see number of projectiles. If you click on number of projectiles, it should be the push bite one right here. We can change that to, we'll change it to 50 shots. Again, this only works on some servers. Right under number projectiles is arc gap. You're gonna click on arc gap. You're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see 11.25. If you want no arc gap on any of your weapons, change it to just a one. Now, on the same action script as player, if you control F and look is speedy, you are able to change how fast speedy affects your speed. So if you're speedy, it'll do 1.5 times your speed, but you're able to change that to whatever you want. So we'll change it to 10.5. This goes as well with is berserk. You can change how fast berserk uh, affects your dexterity. Same with is uh, damaging change it right there but again those only work on some servers next we're going to talk about how to remove all debuffs we're going to go back to game object and if we scroll down just a little bit we should start to see debuffs right here is quiet is weak is slowed what you're going to do is you're going to copy all the code underneath it and you're going to delete it and you're going to type push false return avoid you're going to copy that, and you're just going to copy and paste it for all of these underneath code. 
what this will do is when you get hit by a projectile that inflicts these it'll basically call to nothing all right now we're gonna choose our ninja on AR I don't believe dexterity hacks actually work as you can see it does kick you but our speedy hack should work as you can see we have times 10 speedy and look at all those shots we just did right there so let's go test it out in realm um, our god mode seems to be working and yeah everything works so that concludes on how to basically do all the hacks for realm of the merry god private servers but um yeah that's it um uh, make sure to subscribe like the video turn on post notifications and i will see you guys later